What's up? This is Atarik here. So Zwift and Wahoo have partnered to launch a new version of the Wahoo Kicker Core, which includes the Zwift Cog and Zwift Click to provide compatibility with almost any 8 to 12 speed bikes through virtual shifting. And they are calling this new trainer or this new update to the Kicker Core, the Kicker Core Zwift One trainer and it will replace the Zwift Hub one that was announced last fall. So you probably got a lot of questions here. So let's get a few things out of the way first. The Kicker Core Zwift one will be priced at 599 US dollars and it will include a one year membership of Zwift. The Zwift Cog will come pre-installed with the Kicker Core Zwift one trainer. It is universally compatible with eight to 12 speed bikes. The cog is a standard 14 tooth sprocket and it is recommended to use a small chain ring. You can still buy the regular kicker core with your choice of regular cassettes pre-installed. Virtual shifting will be enabled in the kicker core Zwift 1 or regular kicker core with a regular cassette and Zwift Play. However, current Wahoo Kicker Core owners will not be able to upgrade to the single Zwift Cog component as there is a slight difference between the Wahoo Kicker Core Cog and the Zwift Cog. Wahoo is saying that they will have an upgrade kit available to current Wahoo Kicker Core owners sometimes a spring. And if you have the Zwift Hub 1, all warranties will remain valid and we will continue to receive product supports including firmware updates and the Wahoo Kicker Core Zwift 1 is available to buy in the United States, United Kingdom and the European Union starting today on Zwift.com and WahooFitness.com and customers located in Australia and Canada will be able to purchase the Wahoo Kicker Core Zwift 1 via WahooFitness.com from late March and I'll post all these links in the description for you. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about the Kicker Core Zwift 1 trainer. So I have been using the Kicker Core Zwift 1 trainer for the past few weeks. The core comes with the Zwift cog and one cog component comes pre-installed and allows the trainer to work with almost any 8 to 12 speed bikes without the need to switch physical gears. So what does this mean for you? Basically, you do not need to worry about the topic cassette you need. Whether your bike is an 8 speed or 12 speed bike, as long as the bike fits on the trainer, then it should work. And no need to worry about cassette installation or swapping cassettes if you have a different bikes like I do. I have been swapping between my 11 speed road bike and 10 speed TT bikes with horizontal dropouts and no issues whatsoever. And you get virtual shifting, which I personally happen to just enjoy using. And honestly, I tend to miss it when I go back to using an old style physical gear. And the Kicker Core Zwift 1 also comes with the Zwift Click. It is this little thing with plus and minus buttons to initiate virtual shifting. And the Zwift Click is meant to be mounted on most handlebars, road, flat, and TT via rubber straps. And in my case here, I have it mounted on my TT bike. And if you happen to have the Zwift Play controllers, you should be able to control shifting directly from the Zwift Play rather than the Zwift Click. And personally, I prefer to use the Zwift Play on my road bike and the Zwift Click just happened to work a lot better with my TT bike since I really cannot mount the Zwift Play on my TT bike anyway. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The Zwift Play and Click do not talk directly to the Kicker Core Bike Trainer. Instead, everything needs to be paired to the Zwift app, the trainer and the controller. So Zwift is essentially the middle man here in this operation. And because of this, you are sort of locked into using virtual shifting with Zwift only. Even though you can still use the Kicker Core Zwift 1 with other cycling apps, but, and you gotta hear me out here, virtual shifting will not work outside of Zwift. So if you are planning on using another app like Full Gas, Ruby, or my Wosh, and you plan on riding a course in sim mode, you're pretty much stuck with one gear, which might be your thing, I don't know. However, if you plan on using erg mode with a structured workout, then you can use a different app and it will work the same way as it does in Zwift. So you can use Trainer Road, for example, without a problem. And communication for virtual shifting is all handled by Zwift Bluetooth protocols. Virtual shifting will not work with ANT+. Other than the new virtual cog, 
the kicker core Zwift 1 basically is the same kicker core from 2018, nothing changed. The same 2% power accuracy, it measures up to 1800 watts and simulate gradients so of up to 16%. It is also compatible with the Kicker Climb. And the Kicker Core is compatible with the NT Plus FEC and has three Bluetooth channels. Okay, let's talk about virtual shifting here for a little bit. The first thing you need to do is make sure you are on the latest firmware on the trainer and make sure that is installed, which you can check using the Wahoo app and make sure you are also using the latest Zwift version. Pair everything correctly in Zwift pairing menu using Bluetooth and pair the Zwift click or Zwift play. Once everything is paired properly, go to the settings menu and under preferences, navigate to virtual shifting and make sure that virtual shifting is enabled. And now you can use virtual shifting with your kicker core. When you are riding, you should see this gear display right below your power showing which gear you are on. And you should have 24 gears at your disposal. To shift, just hit the plus or minus buttons on the Zwift click. If you are using the Zwift Play, the right side buttons gears you up and the left one gears you down and the kicker core just feels solid and the ride feel is really good. Basically what you expect from a Wahoo bike trainer and the trainer is very quiet. The noise is gonna vary per type of quality of chain you have. So here's how loud it is. And just keep in mind, my chain is not the cleanest out there. From a power accuracy standpoint, the core has been rock solid. I have tackled both one hour rides and longer sessions with over two hours, and it's been consistently solid for me. And taking a closer look at a complete ride here, the kicker core Zwift 1 is just spot on. It really does not get any better than what you are seeing here. I did calibration on both the Asioma and the kicker core right before the 15 minute interval. And zooming into that 15 minute interval, the Asioma and the kicker core are just neck and neck. And during those three minute intervals, the Asioma reads a bit higher, but we're only talking about a difference of about one and a half to 3%. And here's another look at a two hour ride I did. Keep in mind, no calibration was done. The last calibration was done about two days ago, I think, or three days. And at the first interval, you can see the Asioma was reading a bit higher. But after that interval, everything settled and the data was spot on for the rest of the ride. The erg mode responsiveness is just fantastic. It transitioned from one interval to the next in just a few seconds, no issues on that front. Now in Zwift workout mode, if you turn erg mode off, you will see your virtual gears. This allows you to adjust gearing with the Zwift click and adjust resistance, basically. You can also use the plus and minus buttons on the Zwift companion app to tweak and fine tune the resistance. It is a great way uh, if you want to turn erg mode off for those intervals when you do not want to use erg mode. And when erg mode is on, pressing the plus and minus button on the Zwift click will adjust the uh, intensity of the workout. Cadence was also good. A little off in some sections here and there, but overall I think it was very solid, no complaints here. So it is really interesting to see Zwift attempting to get into the bike trainer market and then pull out just a couple of years later. Not every company can nail both hardware and software, but some companies like Apple have really set that bar high by being a top notch in both areas. And for many companies, getting to this level of success is a really tough nut to crack. And that's why teaming up through partnerships often becomes the next best move. And ever since Zwift and Wahoo joined forces last fall with the Kicker Core bundle, it was clear they were onto something. And the Kicker Run treadmill is a good example of their collaboration in blending hardware and software. And now they are taking it a step further with the Kicker Core Zwift 1 and bringing in the COG component and virtual shifting. So what are your thoughts on this Zwift and Wahoo teamwork? And if you already own a Kicker Core, would you upgrade yours to virtual shifting by either getting the Zwift Play or the COG upgrade kit when it's available? I would like to hear from you. So let's get this conversation going. There you have it, folks. Feel free to share this video with others in your life and do not forget to tap that like button. And if you are still watching but have not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.